This video will discuss the symptoms that should be suspicious for polymyalgia erratica. You will encounter this condition particularly in primary care, private practice, direct access clinics, and to a lesser extent, traditional MSK clinics. I am Jack March from Physio Matters. There will be five segments to this video, and these are, what is polymyalgia erratica? Which MSK symptoms to look out for? Other symptoms to be aware of? Red flag questions to ask? And what to do when suspecting polymyalgia erratica? Section one, what is polymyalgia erratica? Polymyalgia erratica, or PMR, is a complex auto-inflammatory condition that falls under the specialism of rheumatology. The pathophysiology remains mysterious and it does not clearly fit under the umbrella of inflammatory arthritis or connective tissue disorders. PMR affects older people over the age of 50 and a peak onset of 65. It also affects three times as many women as men. Treatment is almost exclusively steroids, primarily oral prednisolone. Which MSK symptoms to be aware of? 90% of people presenting with PMR will have characteristic bilateral shoulder girdle pain and stiffness, and this may be accompanied by bilateral pelvic girdle pain and stiffness. 25% of cases, there will also be peripheral arthritis similar to rheumatoid arthritis, that is metacarpal phalangeal joint synovitis. The symptoms are usually worse in the early morning for extended periods of time, at least 45 minutes, and follow an inflammatory pattern. Improvement with activity, not improved by rest, waking in the second half of the night with symptoms, and improvement with anti-inflammatories. Note, if the symptoms are not bilateral, then PMR can all be excluded. There is a rare condition called giant cell arteritis that can masquerade as polymyalgia rheumatica. In all patients over 50 with bilateral shoulder pain and stiffness, we should ask about the following questions. Jaw claudication, scalp pain, visual disturbances, unilateral temporal headaches, and upper limb claudication. Presence of these symptoms could indicate giant cell arteritis, which should be considered a medical emergency. What to do when suspecting polymyalgia rheumatica? PMR is ideally managed in primary care by the GP. There is no need to refer to rheumatology unless the differential diagnosis is unclear, or there is presence of other symptoms indicating types of inflammatory arthritis, such as MCPJ synovitis, psoriasis, Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis, or anterior uveitis. Remember to include PMR in your differential diagnosis list for those presenting with bilateral shoulder symptoms, but be cautious as overdiagnosis leads to steroid overdependence. Hope you enjoyed this video. You can subscribe and see all the other videos on the playlist. We've got lots of clinical short videos for you to enjoy.